Alright everybody, welcome back to more Fire Emblem 6 The Binding Blade. So, we are still here in the Western Isles, I believe. We're on Chapter 10, Caught in the Middle. I think this is the chapter that made me rage quit on my first attempt, so we're, we're now fast approaching the part where it's fully blind as a playthrough and not just partially blind. We only made it for one chapter last time, and we also were forced to kill our other potential nomad partner because the first nomad partner was the only one who could recruit him. Great! Anyhow, chapter 10, caught in the middle. Let's go. Hey, Proxima, welcome! Nice to see ya. Hope you're doing well on this chilly night. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if it's chilly where you are, but we got, like, I think a half a foot of snow today alone. Yeah, it, it's, it's cold outside, and I had to do grocery shopping, so that was fun to drive through. <laughs> In order to get some information from the Resistance forces about the bandits on the Western Isles, Roy and company moved west along the coastline. Along the way, they came across a small village caught in constant conflict between the Resistance group and the landowner trying to get rid of them. Okay. Oh, yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. This is, the, this is the chapter that made me rage quit. This is the chapter that made me rage quit last time. I recognize it. Level that's filled with like 800 villages and tons of brigands that are all trying to destroy them. Wonderful. Okay. Well, let's see who we should bring. We're, de we're definitely bringing Roy and Lance. Maybe we'll drop Ward. Actually, Ward's not... Ward's not great, but he does have the A support with Lot, who is better. Man, Lot, Lot and Ward are not that good. We have Deke. Obviously, he's pretty awesome. Thaney. We're actually really going to use Thaney on this level. Uh, her being a flyer with all of these fences, she can fly over it and rescue drop people. That's going to be very useful. Rutger is very useful. Obviously, we want our healers, Ellen and Clarine. Trek is definitely pulling his weight. I will definitely want to use Lelina. Noah, I think we should drop. He ain't, he ain't doing so hot. We're not using Fur. No way. She's too low of a level. I kind of want to use Barf, or at least to give Barf a bit of a try. He has 14 defense. Look, let's, let's take a look at the map a little bit more, just to see. Okay, we got a couple of Axe Fighters, but that's okay. Actually, we got a lot of magic units. They will rip Barf apart. And who's the boss? Zinc! <laughs> He looks friendly. An Etrurian general in charge of a small fort on the Western Isles. Why is he... I, wait, we're fighting Etruria? These aren't bandits anymore? Oh my gosh, that guy looks like the freaking professor from Big Hero 6. <laughs> Don't remember the professor's name, but that's what he looks like. Wow, those dem eyebrows, though. Not great stats. His res is low, which is great. Lolina can rip him apart. Oh yeah, Lolina can rip that guy apart. And Physic and Physic. Okay, Physic staves are annoying, but at least there are no status staves. Yeah, the problem is getting to all the... Actually, wait, hang on. Is this... Is this the same chapter? I thought that on the, the chapter that made me rage quit, you started up here. But it looks pretty much the same. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, this looks like the chapter that I rage quit on. It has to be this one. Okay, well, there's a lot of shamans. Ooh, should I bring Barf or should I bring Zealot? Uh, I don't want to really bring... Zealot would be good. Honestly, his rescuing potential and movement and overall stats are good. So he will be very competent, but I'm not going to use him long term. But I might... I now nah, we're bringing Barf. If Barf dies, then he dies, but I want to <laughs> I want to use him. He has 16 con, my gosh. That is a very inaccurate lance. Okay. We don't need the Torch Staff or the Unlock Staff for this level. I definitely want to heal Staff, though. Alright, Barf. Oh, fun! Okay. Here we go, Barf. We'll, we'll buy you a lance. I have no ja- well, Barf has a javelin, that's fine. Lelina, I'm gonna buy you an extra fire tome. Because I have a feeling- I'm gonna be using Lelina a lot. I want her to level up speed, Doug, on it. Also, I'm thinking maybe we don't give her the secret book yet. Yes, her skill is very low, but also fire tomes are extremely accurate, so I don't think she really needs it. 
Trek is good with his equipment. Ellen, let's see. Oh, Ellen, you can use uh, physics staves now, can't you? We'll give the barrier to Clarine. You get the physics staff. Oh, hang on. Mm. Also, we're selling your heal staff for 10, so we can buy you another, a brand new identical heal staff. And we're running a little low on cash. That worries me somewhat. All right, for giving them both those swords back. I don't. We don't need to bring Astol. There are no treasure chests here. All right, I don't think we're using Noah. I tried him out. He kind of stinks. I if I if I have an extra slot in the future, I'm just gonna take Zealot. Oh, nope, did not want to give you that. Ooh! Nope, we still can't really promote Thaney. Never mind. I was wrong. Hmm. Do we have any special axes here? Halberd, Silver Axe, and Killer Axe. I don't think there are any horseback units, but there might be some as reinforcements. That oh, and we need another sword for Roy. There we go. Alright. Save. And let's play the chapter. Chapter 10, caught in the middle. Uh-oh. <laughs> Do I even... I want to give him the same voice as the Professor from Big Hero 6, but what did he sound like anyways? <laughs> Have you not found that bard of the Resistance Force? Uh, we are still searching for him, my lord. And? It appears he's hidden himself in a village on the outskirts of the castle. The Resistance Group is just another band without that elfin supporting them with his brains. I don't care what happens to the village, just find him! Yes, my lord. Ah, I apologize for keeping you waiting, my lady. You seemed... busy. Oh no, we prioritize ally allying with Burn above all things. So if you need anything... Then as I asked earlier... Ah, the whereabouts of Princess Guinevere. Do you have any information, Lord Zink? I regret to say that I do not, but the other guy, Lord Copper, definitely knows. You have already visited the capital at Juto? Yes. Then I suggest you pay a visit to Bishop Oro. Oro? Oh wait! I fought Bishop Oro... On my first... On my first attempted playthrough. Casually. I remember him. He was like a super corrupt priest. Are we not... F okay, now I'm confused. He resides at the castle, overlooking Mount Ebrachem to the north. He knows this region better than any of us, so I would believe he'd have some ideas. However, if he even he does not know where Princess Guinevere is, then I would think she's not on these islands. I see. I will talk with Bishop Oro. Thank you for your time. The Rebel Group is supposed to be very active in these areas. Yes, according to our sources. But I also understand that earlier this week, the Resistance Group was hunted down by Etruria's military. I heard that they were devastated. The Aturian government lets the bandits go and oppress the resistance group who are trying to help the people. It doesn't look good. No, it does not. Could we do anything to help? That would be difficult. Why, we would be going against Aturia's nobility. I don't think that would be a good idea when we're working under Aturia's orders. I'll send a messenger to General Cecilia and see what she has to say. We probably shouldn't do anything too risky right now, but... Master Roy! Lord Zink, who controls this area, is sending out troops to attack the villages to find a member of the Resistance Force. What? Should we? We don't have time to wait for General Cecilia's reply. <sighs> but I want to help the people. Even if it means going against Aturia's orders. Master Roy? Let's fight! So we can be proud when we return to Lycia. Yeah, Roy's very gun-ho. Honestly, our Roy is turning out pretty awesomely. Like, those are some... Fine stats. His defenses are a bit low, but that's... You know, I can deal with lower defenses. Lelina would be an incredibly kick-butt unit were it not for the fact that she has 4 speed. That's really killing me, and the fact that she's gotten 10 level-ups and hasn't gotten speed once is really bad. 
Like, at the very least, I don't care if she doesn't have to... Re she doesn't have to reliably double feints because her magic stat is so freaking powerful. But she needs to get enough speed that she doesn't get doubled. Because of her low defense and HP, if she gets doubled, she dies. So I just have to keep her far out of harm's way. Ever eat a Roy Rogers? Hi, Mobius. Welcome. I don't know what the heck that is. Is that like a fancy hot dog? We've, we're taking Barf as well. Uh, wow. Barf has more speed than Lelina, and he's an armor knight. That's that's disgraceful. Ward is not great, but Lot's better. Although Lot is also not great. Maybe I put... Actually, well, Lot is 7 defense and 39 HP. That's pretty great. He's, he's a tank. I appreciate it. Lance is obviously amazing. I'm, I'm going to promote him pretty soon. And Trek is also surprisingly good, despite being a much lower level. <laughs> That's the face of a winner right there. Uh, Deke is obviously phenomenal. Rutger is... Wow, Rutger, those stats, though. All right, anyhow. Enough stalling, let's actually play. Oh, hey, look! Axe wielders! You fool! Don't you know Rutger is capable of great power? You don't. Excellent! Keep the Axe Bros within support range of each other, so they get those monstrous stat boosts. Roy and Lelina can stay next to each other so they can build their support. <laughs> Barf will be just holding up the rear, as per usual. Oh, I need to do a better job at keeping track of guys' inventories. I think I'm gonna put Thaney down here. With the Slimeland, she should do alright. We have Barf, Shrek, Deke, and... Yep. <laughs> Roy Rogers is like McDonald's, but marginally better. I have never heard of such a chain restaurant. We don't have them out here in Michigan. Oh, this guy looks cool and, um... <laughs> very evil. Well, were you able to find out where Princess Guinevere is? No. But I heard a bishop named Oro in charge of the mines in the north might know. Oh, right. Then let's head north. Gail, I'm sorry. King Zephiel wanted to keep the case on Guinevere in secret... and... Sikursi! <laughs> Great translation. So he only assigned my group to look at it for her. I'm sorry I got you mixed up into this. You shouldn't worry yourself over things like that. This guy has no pupils. Either that or his bandana is covering it. But you're one of the captains working directly under General Murdoch. Oh, I know Murdoch! He's in Fire Emblem 7, he's cool. General Murdoch has agreed to my helping you out. In fact, he wants me to find out the location of the Princess and the Fire Emblem. Do you think that Princess Guinevere has the Fire Emblem? Well, that's what the royalty thinks. And I think they're correct, looking at the situation. Come on, don't look at me like that. Probably Princess Guinevere has a plan of some sort. Come, let's go. Yes. He has cool hair. Also, he's... One of them is a Wyvern Lord, the other's a Wyvern Rider. OH NO! No, no, don't get doubled, don't get doubled, don't get doubled. <laughs> Honestly, if she had gotten doubled and died, I would have reset. That is a reset where we offense. Didn't realize she was in range. Oh yeah, Carl's Jr. and Hardy's. They, I haven't been to Hardy's, but Carl's Jr. was very, very meh. One of the most mediocre fast food chains I've been to. Where... Am I? Who the heck are you? Are you awake? What happened to me? We found you lying at the entrance of the village, all bruised and blood splattered. Eugh. So we brought you home and treated your wounds. And you are... I'm Mary. I live here. Live here? No! This village will be endangered if I stay here. Or maybe it's too late if it's already been one day. I am Elfin, one of the Resistance group. The landowner is sure to send troops here to capture me. The resistance group. Miss Mary, you should run from here. This village is in danger. No, I will stay. Why? I have a younger brother. Right now, he's gone out to look for work with his friend from next door. Oh my gosh, wait, is that Ward and Lot? Oh, if I visit that village as Ward, will there something special happen? His friend asked me to take care of his younger sister while they were gone. While they was gone. <laughs> I see. Then all I can do is protect this village. T to protect this village is leave. Thank you very much for healing my wounds. Please take care. 
Yes, you take care too. I like that guy. He looks like Lucius. Okay, I'm gonna try to visit that village's ward. And then that village's lot, maybe. That would be great. Okay. Well, Lelina's on Death's Door. Uh, who needs the EXP? Oh, guys, Barf needs a chance to get some EXP. Here you go, Barf. Here's your chance. Nice one! <laughs> I do like his blue armor. It's very cool. Alright, Thaney, you can do a little bit of damage. Heal up Ellen. Or, no, heal up Lelina. It's just a flesh wound, Lelina. You'll be fine. Alright, what level are you? He's level 10. Okay. Ah, oh, but he has a hand axe. Drat! Trek doubles. Oh, Trek has zero... Re okay, I gotta keep Trek out of range of that shaman. I think Lance will one round. No, Lance will definitely one round that guy. Roy's too far out of range. Oh, there's there ain't no way Ward's gonna double. No way. Nice one, Ward. All right, now can Thaney do the signature finishing move? Oh, she actually can. Nice job, Thaney. See, that plus one strength that you got from your last level, from that one level up, really is paying off in dividends. Alright, Thaney, level 10, it's the big one. <sighs> that is literally Thaney level ups. HP, speed, and skill. She's almost... I, when she caps her speed, I'm promoting her. That's, that's how it's gonna go. I'm promoting her after she caps her speed. Okay, um, wait. He also has zero res, but he also has 34 HP, so yeah, he'll be fine. Well, hang on, okay. 14 damage plus, so that's... Yeah, he'll, sur he'll survive. Ah, uh, wait. Darn it. I don't want to get in range of that stupid shaman. But I also need to speed things up so I can reach the villages. Oh hey, they can support it while I'm last! I see you haven't lost your skill. Whoa! They know A, they know each other, B, that is a gigantic text box. I am not cropping the screen, by the way. It literally is auto-cropping, because it's too big. Rutger, I keep telling you not to suddenly pop up an attack from behind. Jeez, I'd never have enough lives if I had to put up with you. Ha. Huh. It is already decided that I am the first one to lay a blow on your back. Alright, obviously we were out to kill each other when we were on different sides. But why the heck are you trying to slice me in half when we're on the same side? This is a glitchy support conversation. The others bore me. I need someone of your strength to duel with. So I'm gonna get killed because you're bored. Wonderful. Oh, sure. As if I'd, you've ever let my sword touch you. What do you think? I want to live too, you know. I'll get you next time for sure. Jeez. Okay, that's a great support conversation. They're, they're becoming boon companions. No wonder that support took so long for them. They ain't exactly... They aren't the best of friends. Oh, hey, well, if I'm out of range of that guy, I am. Cool. Then I can pull over here and heal up Thaney, her 1 HP. Chlorine level up! Defense? That's cool. You fool. You fool. Oh my gosh, look at that critical hit rate from Rutger. Wait, did I, did I put Clarine within his support range? Oh, I did. So he has Clarine and Deke support right now. So he has a huge critical hit rate with an Iron Sword, which has 0 in 8 critical hit chance. Oh, perfect Rutger. Yes, setting up for somebody else to get the kill. I love it. Okay, there are no brigands thus far. 
I guarantee that's going to change, so I do I do want to hurry to those villages, but I'm not going on a suicide mission. Nice dodge, Rutger. Okay, I can't fly over there because there are way too many archers, so that's kind of a huge pain in the butt. Oh wait, there's a wall here. It has 100 HP! Are you nuts? Are there more cracks in the walls? There's one there, but that also has 100 HP. And that one does too! Why do these walls have so much HP? Oh, perfect! Nice one, Thaney. Probably should have given her a barrier. Perhaps. She sh she'll be fine, though. She has backup. She has Deke and Rutger who can both provide backup. Nice job. Yeah. Oh, no! Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> Forgot about that archer. None of these archers here have long bows, do they? Good. Good. How many turns will it take for Barf to do- Barf can destroy that in five turns, and if he gets backup from somebody else, like, say, Trek, he can actually destroy it faster. Okay, you're gonna do that, but before we do that, you're giving me your javelin, so that way Lance can go over here and start chucking things at those, uh, bow users. Free kill for Lelina! Maybe I should have given that kill to Roy. Nah. Okay. Now that Barf has been deprived of his weapon, uh, Wade, you have a hand axe. If only you were one square closer, then I, I could have you start chucking axes at that. Lot, you also have a hand axe. We're going to tag team this together and destroy the wall in just a few turns. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to save my physics staff for when I really need it. That's an easy kill for Deke. That critical hit rate, though. Probably brought too many sword fighters, but you know, swords are just so good in this game. Okay, he's out of range. And there we go. I think that's a pretty good turn. Ooh, bows actually are kind of scary for Ruger. So are Dark Tomes. Ah, but he's so dodgy, though. Oh, hi! That's more units than I thought there were. <laughs> I swear I'm decent at Fire Emblem. I'm not good, but I'm decent. Well, hey, free kill for Roy. Oh, uh, no, not a free kill for Roy. But Roy can weaken it. And Lelina can get the kill. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Yes. Dark magic user can attack Lelina, but Lelina actually has resistance, so she'll be fine. My gosh, 20 attack power, and she's barely level 11. That is nuts. Dane, another 20 damage. 22 damage? Oh, we're breaking the wall next turn. Okay, you know, if you triple tag team the walls, they're not too bad. Okay. Um... We can do this. 
Thaney, can you one round these this guy? No, you can't. That's actually kind of bad. Trek, how do you? F Trek takes so much damage from those dark magic users. I don't like it. I'm gonna keep Rooker back here. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Rooker's gonna Oh, nice job, Rooker. That was great critical hit. I was gonna say, if Rooker got ta had damage taken, I would have healed him with Clarine and then pulled Clarine away with Thaney. But no, I, I actually think I like this better. <laughs> and this way, Deacon and Rooker are still in support range and can continue kicking butt and taking names. Man, they are so good. Ooh, weapon level increased. Are you at A rank in swords? You are. Alright, keep keep Thaney out of range of that guy, but I'll pull her clo- Ooh, wait! Better idea. Thaney's gonna... Wait, can... No. <laughs> what am I talking about? Of course Thaney can't go there. But Thaney can go over towards this village. Thaney can also go to this village very easily, because she can be, like, right here, go to the village, then canto away. Hmm. Let's see. There are no magic users going this way, so Trek... You're gonna meet these people who are coming on towards this direction. Lance, you're gonna go up the middle. And Clarine... Wait, let's see. Oh, that's perfect. Clarine, you can go closer, and you can give a heal to Rutger. As for Ellen... Ellen, I have a feeling you need to go that way to heal any damaged units. What is the matter? Why is taking so long to find one Resistance group member? That's not a proper sentence. The VC Alliance Army! They're fighting to protect the villagers! The Alliance Army? They would go against Etruria? Uh, well, we've gotten a message from Juto. It says, The VC Alliance Army is suspected to be working with the bandits. Capture them or kill them if necessary. Oh, tied in with the bandits. How ironic! So they want to kill them to save their own skins. What, sir? This is not the mainland. Might makes right here. I'm not quite sure I understand. Don't worry about it, then. Is that all they, they said from Juto? No. Lord Arkard has provided us with reinforcements. What? They should be arriving soon. Oh, no. Even if we defeat the Lisi Alliance Army, we will not get all the credit if we are aided by reinforcements. We need to do this quickly. Ah, of course. Get Skolin! Yes, sir. Uh, yeah? What can I do for you, Master Zink? I want you to burn down all the villages in this area. Kill the villagers as well. What if there's treasure? Do it as with it as you wish. Just hurry. Got it, Master Zink. <laughs> what is the purpose of that? Like, oh, just destroy the villagers. That'll be fine. It makes the... Make them have to... <laughs> make the Alliance Army need to take a long time and get the villagers quickly. It just don't make sense. Wow, that's not nice. Oh no! Not my Rootger. I knew I had to rush those freaking villages. Also, man, could they go one chapter without swearing? Good lord. You do not need to swear this much. This is an E-rated game, my friends. No. Not Deke. Alright. There we go. Wall is broken. Barf to the rescue! Actually, there's not a lot here, is there? You have a steel axe, so you're gonna pack a punch, but you also are highly inaccurate, so... I wonder how Mary's doing. Her brother and his friends are all out there trying to make money. It's too dangerous to go outside now. Can you go check on her? Here, I'll give you this, so... Ooh, a barrier staff. Nice, okay. 
Whoa, shoot, I left Ward behind. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm gonna move Thaney closer. So that way she can start dealing with this uh, fighter over there. Roy took an unlucky hit, but that's okay. Because we have Lelina. We gotta get up to the northern villages. Especially the ones that have... <laughs> Lot and Ward's family. Alright, Trek, be a one-man army. Oh, Steel Blade, so scary. Actually, I don't want to put him up right up against the wall. That's a bad idea. Nobody has a halberd? Nobody has a halberd? Good. Have the sword equipped, so you won't be at a weapon triangle disadvantage. Dane! Rutger with all of the crits! I love it. I like it a lot. Lance is on the money. Oh, Lance is so on the money! That is not very much experience points, though. My gosh, he's unstoppable! My gosh, those stats are good. He's almost kept speed as well! <laughs> oh, I love you, Lance. Heal up the deke. Alright, worst comes to worst. I want deke up there to potentially, if there are brigands that spawn, he can deal with them while we get ward to and lot to those villages. Ho oh, ho, you think you can take on the mighty trek? Yeah, right. Oh, you think you can take on the mighty Thaney? You probably can, but... It's gonna take her a couple of turns. Yeah, I saw that coming. Lance, miss both of them. Actually, no, Lance, you don't have to miss both of these. Nope, Lance never misses his mark. He's getting experience almost like a pre-promote, though. Still no brigands. I'm digging this. Ooh. Yeah, let's do it. I know this puts me at weapon triangle disadvantage against the axe wielder, but that was just a perfect kill. I had to do it. All right, Trek. Okay, that's not a very good level up. That's okay, he's still good. All right, we all need to get closer so we can start wrecking the door. Or the door, the wall. Ward needs to get his lazy butt up here. Barf Mall is coming up. I just realized that was a col- Okay. That could have been a colossally stupid move, because if he had hit that with his axe and then hit again on enemy phase, Thaney would be dead. Ooh, Lance rank increased. Only a B rank. Did you start with an E rank or something? Oh no, I just haven't been able to use Thaney all that much. Alright, Barf Maul. You can go that way. Rutger and Deke can move up this way. I do not want to put Deke right next to the wall. Because then archers are going to shoot at him, and that's not a very nice thing to do. There we go! I was wondering when they were showing up. Gonzalez! Where's Gonzalez? Here! I uh, hear! There's a village to the south. You got that? Get it. That might be a hidden base for the resistance forces. Master Zink says to burn it down, village and all. Village and all. Right, now get. A stupid hulk like you only comes in use at times like this. You better not screw up. I, I... You got a problem? N no Yeah, he looks like... But he has that kind heart. 
He shouldn't be scared of busting up one tiny village. You guys, you got that too? Eh, sure thing, boss. Wait, what? Who's... Gonzalez has a name. That means promotable, right? Or promotable. That means recruitable, right? Wait, is there an actual brigand we can recruit? Is there an actual brigand we can recruit? <laughs> Outside of a randomizer? Gonzalez, he's here. A brigand from the Western Isles. He definitely—he has a, a double axe. Ah, uh, I mean, he has high HP. He's strong. He has decent speed. Fifteen con. I want him. Oh wait, and there's Skolin. Oh yeah, there's no. Yeah, check out Skolin's stats versus Gonzalez's stats. Gonzalez has better stats, so he's the one who's recruitable. Devil Axe is not fun, though. <laughs> can injure the wielder, and he don't have the best luck. Okay, I bet I can recruit him. The question is, who can recruit him? Also, shoot! They're heading towards those villages. Uh... Okay, I gotta visit the villages. I wanted to visit them as a uh, ward and lot, but that ain't working. I gotta visit them before those brigands can get there, so... Thaney, you can visit this one. Ah, our heroes! I wish you thanks on the village's behalf! The, is... This guy literally has been in every other village, he's just dyed his, his mustache this time. <laughs> is a scale from a real dragon. Is That's not a sentence! They say it protects you with uh, magical berries when you use... Wow, this translation sucks. Please take it. Dragon shield received. Dragon shield is great. Oh, who should that go on? That's a good question, actually. I'll have to think about who to use that on. Not Barf. Actually, if I could use it on Barf to just make him invincible, I would. Okay. Hmm. Alright. I need Deke go over here, and I need Rootger over here. Clarine, you stay supporting with Rootger. What does this armory have? Um, I'm gonna buy a couple javelins. Because we can't buy those at the regular shop. Who do we use to recruit Gonzalez, though? Maybe just Roy? Or maybe Lelina. Or maybe somebody who either died or I didn't take. Okay, Gonzalez is like a brigand that looks scary but has a good heart. I feel like almost all of my characters wouldn't it would just be like, oh it's another bandit, kill him. I feel like Lelina might be our best bet, but she's so far away. <laughs> okay, here's what we're we can do this. Rescue Lelina. Take Lelina. Release her right there. Lance, grab Lelina. Boom! Just carried her, like, halfway across the map. Mm. Oh, you attacked Clarine. That's not nice. Okay, I gotta keep people out of range of Gonzalez. Simply because I don't want to kill him. Okay. Here's what we gotta do. Thaney, visit the village. Big brother? Oh, I'm sorry. We get an elixir, though? That's definitely gotta be Lot's little sister. Alright, let's send the dragon shield back. We're gonna wait on that tile, because only, like, I think one brigand can reach us. Yeah, and he's not super scary. Next thing we're gonna do, Clarine is gonna visit this village, so she can canto away. Have you seen my brother? His name is Ward, and he's a mercenary. I knew it. Have you at least heard of him? I have. Just give me the free feint. A door key, that's it. I wonder if we get something different if we visit as Ward or Lot. Well, I was too slow. Okay, Gonzalez can reach all the way there. Let's get this perfect kill with Rooker. My gosh, 23% critical hit rate with an iron sword. 
No wonder they call him Critger. That's his fan nickname. Okay. Now I think we are doing a tactful uh, retreat. Thaney can fly over walls, so that should be fine. Roy, do you have a vulnerary? You do! Good boy! Alright, Roy and Trek can take on these enemies coming. Okay. Here we go. Alright, so he has seven movements, so next turn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or six, seven, so. Cool, alright. Oh! Barf is gonna come in here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He can go there. Yes! On next turn, Barf can grab her. And mmm, yes. We can we can do an intense uh rescue chain. Man, I'm playing Fire Emblem like the pros now. What? That's not fair! So that's the VC Alliance army. They're supposed to be fighting against the bandits. I know. But Lord Arkhart says that they're fighting with the bandits to attack the villagers. Why are they doing the opposite of what they were told to do? Oh, Stop it with these freaking ambush spawns! This is so not fair! Tate, can you take your troops and attack from the north? I'll start attacking from here. Yes, sir. Tate! Wait. Yes? I see that you have some siblings. Yes, I have two sisters, one older, one younger. Are they all Pegasus Knights like yourself? Yes. Why do you ask? Oh, that's gotta be Thaney's sister. Well, actually, I have a younger sister myself. She must be very beautiful if she's your sister. Thank you. And yes, she is pretty. But I've heard she got tangled up in some mess, and I don't know where she is now. Oh my... Yeah. So we got Thaney's sister and then Clarine's brother. Here we go. What? Oh my... I've sent out some people to look, but they haven't found her yet. If only I wasn't on this mission, I could go look myself. Tate, take care of yourself, for your family's sake. Yes, thank you. He better not move this turn! That's a freaking sniper! They spawn literally in the middle of nowhere. No warning at all can move on the same turn. They're gonna kill Roy. Alright, let's go. Sir, are you sure? About what? Lord Arkhard said to leave most of the fighting up to Ilya's Pegasus Knight so that we, the Aturian army, suffer the least casualties. Don't be ridiculous. They are trustworthy companions. We will attack at the same time, or even before them. Understood? Yes, sir. Still, Lord Arkhard's story is strange. The army from Lycia just got here. Would they get tied in with the bandits so quickly? Those freaking archers are go Oh, great! Gonzalez is going the wrong way! Oh, sure enough! Yep! Gaia spawns with a silver bow! Can move and- Wow, Roy. You've, I think, you dodged and I think your life is spared now. Depends on what these guys have. Oh, look, steel bow. Yep, I am remembering this is one of those reasons why I did not like Fire Emblem 6 very much. Every single enemy that spawns can move the same turn they spawn in. And they can appear anywhere with no warning. Like, how do you strategically prepare for that? You freaking can't. Klein, an Aturian general leading one of the forces on the Western Isles. He has a silver bow and a white gem. Okay, he's got decent stats. You know, guess what? All my bow users are dead or terrible. Roy, can you talk? You can! Cool. Wait, aren't you an Aturian general? Why are you attacking us? I have specific orders from Lord Arkhard to kill you. He ordered you? Can't you see what's happening here? The people here are suffering from their landlord's abusive treatment. And you're helping him? You should be ashamed! Wait, did you say that you're helping the villagers? Yes. The Marquis here is ransacking the villages, saying he's searching for rebels. We're fighting to stop him. But you seem to be siding with him, so... I have no such intention. I heard that you were the ones working with the bandits to do evil. What?! Why would we be working with the bandits?! We just want things cleaned up here so we can get back to Alicia. Such mockery. What?! Lord Arkhard is underestimating me. I am not dull enough not to notice who the real villains are. Do you understand now? I am Klein of the Regalay family of Etruria. Forgive us for attacking you. Yes! I am General Roy of the Lycia Alliance Army. 
General Roy, I would advise you to be cautious. I... I was, and you spawned out of nowhere and attacked me, and I, there was nothing I could have done to predict or stop that. Bad difficulty. Fake difficulty. Since you have turned your back on Lord Arcard, he would be sure to gather all of his henchmen on these isles in every attempt to kill you. I see. If you would allow it, I would like to join you. Really? Yes. I wish to monitor your actions as a Denturian general. I should prove useful as both a fighter and a diplomat. Thank you. Oh my gosh, they turn green. Oh, now they're green units. Oh, that's great. That's actually, I was fully expecting them to still be red units and for me to have to kill them all. But that, act wow, you know, hats off to Fire Emblem 6 for actually making slight sense. However, this also means that Tate is going to be attacking from up here, and I assume I have to talk with her with Thaney. Or maybe with Klein, who knows. Oh, this is bad. I need to keep Gonzalez back here. Okay, well, first things first. Here comes Trek. We are on Trek to keep people alive. Alright, so I need to recruit Gonzalez. I need to get ready for Tate to appear. Probably should, They said they were, she was attacking from the north, so she'll appear around there. Gotta talk to her with Thaney. I'm... It would make no sense if you didn't talk to her, Thaney, but you know what? I'll try to bring Klein up there, too. I will try to bring Klein up there, too. Uh, Trek can absolutely hold his own there. No problem with that. In the meantime... I need to get Gun... The problem with... The problem is... If Gonzalez, if I use a unit to pull Gonzalez over here, there's a good chance they could kill him, especially with his devil axe. It's just out of curiosity, how do you fare against? Okay, you will not kill Gonzalez. The problem is, you might just flat out die. Okay. I can move Rutger here. If I move Ruger here, he'll get attacked by this brigand and this brigand, but he is out of the reach of Gonzalez. He and Gonzalez will keep moving over here. Okay, we need to break. Okay, we need Thaney over here. I know with Tate showing up, I don't like it, but we need Thaney to visit that village and duck out. Actually, she, we need her to visit all of those villages. Crap. Ward, go over this way. Lot, make sure he doesn't die. We're gonna heal up Lelina, because I have a feeling more ambush spawns are coming. Oh, yeah, and Ellen, you're still here. Oh, look, more ambush spawns. Lord Zink, the reinforcements from Judo should be arriving shortly. We're having enough trouble as it is. I don't need any reinforcements to take all the credit! You got bigger problems, dude. Your guys are just like, herp a derp -a -skirp. let's go kill the villagers. Rutger does not finish the job. That's okay, he still gets experience. Alright, that's good, though. Gonzalez could only move a little bit, so maybe we can still pull him out with somebody else. You think you can take on Trek? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, good. I'm actually very happy the green mo units are not moving. Because green units be stupid. Oh, another perfect kill for Trek! My gosh, the man's on fire! And he's still getting so much experience. I love it. I do not love how Roy is now seriously injured. Alright, Klein. Oh, speaking of which, we better turn on Klein's battle animations. Okay, this is, um... 
It's hard to say. I thought this was the level that made me rage quit, but maybe it's not. Again, it feels just like that level that made me rage quit all those years ago. But at the same time... Just hit one of these lands. Or both. You can hit both as well. Okay, that's fine. I just need to be able to kill that archer. Thank you, Lance. Okay. Rutger's the man, and he got to level up. All right, he's, he's getting close to capping skill and speed. And I love it. It's exactly what I want to see. Okay. Okay. Deke, kill this guy. If I can if I can pull out Gonzalez with Thaney, I will. I'm pretty sure Lelina will be the one to talk to him. Because Lelina is gonna be the one who can look past his ugly appearances and be like, no, you're nice, because she's so nice. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, and he only has an iron... Oh, yes. Oh, this is actually great. Okay, hang on. Okay, that's less great, actually. You can attack there. Actually, no, no, okay. So we're gonna move Thaney here, and I think Gonzalez will attack her, and even if the Devil Axe backs, backfires and she crits twice, I don't think she'll kill him. Which is perfect. And only Gonzalez... Oh, yes! So great! And we can kill the other guy. Or no, we can't. We can damage the other guy. Oh man, Skolan has his own boss music, despite being just a generic brigand. And no boss quote. Oh my gosh, hallelujah, Lelina leveled speed. And she leveled magic as well. Okay, that extra point of speed I think will actually go a long way. That'll mean she won't get doubled by as many things. Heal up Lance with Clarine, and she's in support distance of Rutger. That's just so beautiful. Okay. Ward is not able to reach the shamans. Oh yeah, Barf, you exist. Why did I bring Barf again? I should have brought Zealot. I don't like Roy being that low on HP, especially with ambush spawns being possible, so here we go. Oh boy, here she is. Are you ready? We're going to move southward. You got up to the top of the map real quick. Captain, are you sure we'll be alright? Why? Perhaps the Atrian army means to use us up as front, uh, up front as disposables. Who says that? One of our group members heard rumors like that in the Atrian army. If you take rumors seriously all the time, you won't be able to do anything. But... Besides, if that were true, General Klein wouldn't approve of it. Do you really think so? General Klein's not like that. I trust him. All right. Then we'll trust him as well, for we trust you, Captain. Thanks. Let's go. Oh, hey, horses! Luckily, my axe bros are... Oh, no! Gonzalez is moving... No, he's not. Oh, shoot! Gonzalez totally would have killed Thaney if he had hit. I didn't think he would. Wow. I really lucked out there! Thaney would have died if he had hit. Dang, Thaney, that's a good level up. Wow, that's a good level up. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. Do not tell me Lelina's going to die. I do not want to redo this chapter again. She's totally in range of more than one Pegasus Knight. Stand by. Have I mentioned how unbelievably sucky ambush spawns are? 
They're terrible! Why do they exist? They are the worst. <laughs> Hi, Xavier. Welcome. Yeah, uh, you came at a time where I lost a key unit. I get, I killed Alina. Or no, I didn't kill Alina. The game killed Alina by spawning in enemies that you have absolutely no way of predicting or dealing with. Well, I'm going to reset. Having Alina die, that's a reset moment. No, no question. But first, I'm going to see if I can actually recruit Tate with Thaney, or if it'll just tease me. Okay. But big sister! Thaney? What are you doing here? I have a contract with General Klein of Etruria. Thaney, are you with the Alliance Army? Yeah. I see. Then there's only one thing to do. Draw your spear. Uh, no, no. Join my team. No, General Klein said he would join us. We don't have to fight. What? Really? Yeah. All right. I'll join you as well. Thanks, big sister. Okay. Wait. She joins as a green unit? What? Why? That don't make any sense at all. Also, she's... bad. Like, I thought Thaney's strength was bad, but her Tate's strength is the same. Okay. Why does she only get recruited as a green? She's just gonna suicide. Also, um... I'm pretty sure Lelina was the only one who could recruit Gonzalez, so... Great. All right. Shoot. Super. Fantastic. I I really like that. That was absolutely good difficulty. Yep. I think this was definitely the level I rage quit on. Except I seem to recall. I seem to recall the level that I rage quit on on my first casual playthrough. I got a dancer on it, but it looks basically the same. I'm I'm just so confused. Okay. Well. Uh. Pfft. She joins for real if she stays alive. Great. Well, I'm not losing Lelina. I normally live with my mistakes, but Lelina's like one of the main characters. I'm not losing her. I, I want to use her. I want to get that ace support with Roy and have them live happily ever after. Okay, let's try this again. I actually know what I'm getting into this time, so I'm not taking Barf. Yuck, he did nothing. I'm taking Zealot. Zealot will actually be useful. And now that I know what to expect, I can go into this a little bit better. All right, our top priority, let's see. Our top priority is we are getting Ward and Lot to these villages up here as soon as possible. That is our <laughs> That is what we're doing, first off. So we need Ward, Lot, Thaney, and Lelina to all be in this upper area. We need Roy down here to deal with Klein when he appears, but Close enough that he can recruit him, but far enough away that he doesn't get shot. Okay, wow, yeah, this... I knew there was a reason I liked Fire Emblem 7 a lot better. And I, I figured it out. Oh, also, we're turning off battle animations until such a time that we actually, you know, uh... Until we actually catch up to where we were. Yeah, I, I, I definitely like Fire Emblem 7 a lot better. Fire Emblem 7 has much more fair difficulty, I will say. I don't know why ambush spawns were even a thing that can be conceived of. <laughs> it's like, oh, I have a great idea. What if we had guys just teleport in front of you and kill you and there's nothing you can do about it or predict? Just so it basically just turns into trial and error gameplay. It's awful. Who would want that? People say this is the best game to Well, I bet if you know the game really well and you're just like, I've memorized where every single reinforcement, re reinforcement spawn comes from, then sure. I've also heard you get a crap ton of units in this game, but also mm, this is a terrible game for first-time players. Alright, we can skip the cutscene, so hopefully we can finish this. Oh no, you hit Deke, you jerk bag. I'm trying to think what... I feel like Sacred Stones would be the best game to Iron Run, just Iron Man, just because it's the easiest and most... It's probably the most fair. Fire Emblem 7 I really like, but also there are a couple of chapters that are just not Iron Man friendly. <laughs> Battle Before Dawn. Alright. Okay, so here's the thing. I need... 
I need to be able to pick up Ward next turn. Or I need to be able to pick up Lot next turn. So I think I'll drop Ward there. Pull back. Uh, let's see. Oh, I know. Zealot, you can start breaking down this door, just like uh, Mr. Gorbachev. <laughs> I said Deke. It's a different word. Oh, hey, we can L-fire it, too. You two can break down the door. Uh, Trek, you can also help break down the door. There we go. It's a fiend of beauty. Heal up Deke. Dyek. Still don't know how to pronounce his name. I think it's Deke. You two can be bosom buddies together. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, I don't want Trek in range of that stupid shaman. Oh, doggone it. I should have given Lance... Um, shoot. I should have given Lance the uh, Barf's Javelin. That was my bad. I forgot to do that. Okay, Clarine, um, Clarine, you go this way, just so you can help Ruger with that support bonus. Roy, you... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Darn it, that wasn't quite as good of a level up as Lance got last attempt. <laughs> Dane, Lance gives zero cares. He's still proven he's the best character in my army by far. Oh, crap. Did I still have Ward equipped with the Hand Axe? Ward probably should not be up there by himself. Ward definitely should not be up there by himself. Oh, wait. Hang on. Zealot has a Javelin. Ugh. Ugh. Can we break it? Oh, yeah! Okay, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we can't move board higher up. Otherwise, that guy will murder Thaney. Oh, nice dodge, bro. You the best. Actually, you're not even remotely close to being the best, but it's an expression. Alright, Trek. Oh wait, crap! Roy can't go that way! Roy has to be down here to talk to Klein. Shoot. Heal up, Lance. This is why this is a pseudo-Iron Man run. Doggone it, Clarine. You suck. I mean, that's great speed and luck, but doggone it, you suck. Alright. Do I want to know when Roy promotes? Um, no. I'm guessing he promotes very late, much like his father. Okay, cool. Now we get their support together. So, <laughs> Rootger now becomes Critger. I do love me a good Critger. Ah, uh, if only I could have your javelin and use it in the same turn. Okay, uh, Roy can move one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Lance, you'll be there to rescue him. His father promotes almost twice as Elwood promotes when there are only four chapters left in the entire freaking game. So Roy promotes when there are only two chapters left in the game. Well, I've heard Roy is the worst lord, but... You're doing a good job of trying to prove it to me. <laughs> wow. That is really bad. Why would anyone think that that's a good design decision? I bet Roy... Well, that means that Roy... Ba no wonder Roy sucks. He literally just can't keep up with all the... <laughs> with everybody else. Okay. Cool. Lot, I release you. From the spell. Cool. 
They can march up here, visit their villages. I want to see if there's different rewards slash dialogue. If they go there... Cool, the Zealot. Where... Mm, I don't really want to use Zealot if I can at all help it. Melina, you hang out here. Take on the... Ar Actually, wait. <laughs> nah, I'm too impatient for that. I'm too impatient for that. <laughs> I, I, I'm not wrong. There are some very, very questionable design decisions that were made for this game. I wonder... Just give me the free barrier staff, lady. Okay, I will say this is as this is a family friendly stream there, buddy. So please hold off on the language. Sorry, but <laughs> when I upload this to YouTube, if people swear in chat, it makes it a huge pain in the butt to censor. It's already bad enough having to censor out the uh, the game's swear words. You only just finished the hat. Oh, was it Project Ember? I have heard Project Ember is very good and does fix a lot of the problems, but it's it's still Fire Emblem Six, from what I've heard. Uh, I don't want to put Rooker in the. Okay, now that's fine. Rooker can take two attacks. No problem. Do 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 do. <laughs> Appreciate it, buddy. Okay. Yeah, Trek, take him out. Take him out. We gotta keep Chlorine safe, even though she's terrible. Okay, but that's a much better Trek level up than we- Okay, so we got a slightly worse Lance level up, but a much better Trek level up. This is good. I approve. I didn't rescue... Roy. I f- Gah! I, I purposefully put Lance there so he could rescue Roy next turn, and I'm just like, Lance, move up here! Herpa derpa skirpa. That's okay. We can... We don't have to be out there in the corner. They'll appear in the corner and then they'll move north. Uh, west, if that's where we are. Ah, Ward's accuracy is A+, plus as always. I love it. Alright. We'll skip that village. Okay, wait, hang on. I need to make sure. Okay, this is. See, this is why. Because if I had visited the village of Saini, she'd be in big doo doo. Alright. Roy can go down here. Clarine, you can heal up Rutger. Roy doesn't suck in that hack. Nice. I, I, I heard a lot of good things about that hack, and I debated being like, do I want to play that instead? But I figured I wanted to play the real Fire Emblem 6. Just to experience it, so that way I can appreciate the changes that were Project Ember made. That's kind of that was kind of my mentality. All right. Okay, twenty-two percent chance to crit with the Iron Sword. With the Wo Dao, sixty-two percent. I am in heaven. Roy does not double, you can't prove me otherwise. Maybe you're Roy, but uh, my Roy has gotten speed almost every level up, so he's actually pretty doggone good. The only problem really is his low defenses and the fact that he won't be able to promote until super duper late. But I've also been told I have a very speed-blessed Roy. Which makes sense. <laughs> Why, yes, I do get lucky with growth rates. Thank you for noticing. Okay, I think Mr. Archer Boy is going to attack Lot, and that's okay. Lot can take it. Oh, we still need to buy those two javelins. Because we didn't save that from last time. That's one of the interesting things about Fire Emblem, is just because of the nature of growth rates and such, units will fluctuate from playthrough to playthrough, so... For example, you can get a Roy that's actually pretty good, or you can get... I don't know. I've heard you could get a Deke that... Actually, not. Nah, Deke's bases are so good that even if he flubs up a bunch of level-ups, he's still probably going to be pretty decent. 
But you could get a unit who's normally pretty great like Ruker, and maybe he gets really crappy level-ups. Who knows? That's, that's part of the fun. Okay, yes, this is good. Finally, they're reaching... <laughs> uh, you've got a hand axe, okay. Finally, they're reaching Nirvana. Man, and they haven't even taken damage yet. This is great. Okay, yeah. I, Zealot is definitely helping me out a whole lot more than Barf ever did. <laughs> I mean, not, not that that's difficult. Barf is, well, Barf. I, mean, I more brought him along for the meme and because I wanted to see what he was actually like if I were to use him. Okay. I'll give the level up to Deke. <laughs> it's a very good point, yes. Two situations. You get blessed by RN Jesus, or he sends you to HE double hockey sticks. Yeah. Or sometimes you get units like um, <clears throat> Dorcas, who's just always a really, really bad unit. I have, I have tried to use Dorcas. Dorcas on paper shouldn't be awful. But my lord, every single time I use him, he turns out as absolute cow poo. Like, he's so bad. Seriously, I have never gotten a Dorcas that was even passable. Bart Ray, I have gotten to be passable. Not Dorcas. <laughs> People have tried to convince me that Dorcas is better than Bart Ray. I'm sorry, but you're just wrong. <laughs> What tier lists are you using? Even the tier lists say that Dorcas is bad. Our heroes, thank you, Mr. Dynemart. Please, please tell me one way that Dorcas is better than Barray other than he's in Lin's story. Please, j just one. You can, like, some of his bases are slightly higher, but his growths are such trash that Barray will... No, that's just not true. Like, Dorcas starts with, like, one more point of HP, a couple more points of speed, but he has, like, a 2% speed growth, so we'll never level it, and Bart Ray will catch him very quickly. And by the way, I'm not even saying Bart Ray is good. Bart Ray's still pretty bad, <laughs> but he's better than Dorcas. But Dorcas is a funny character. <laughs> Dorcas is a better meme. I will say this. That is That much is very much true. He is a better meme. I don't know what to tell you, man, but every time I've every time I have used Dorcas, he has sucked. And I've tried to use him a lot. Okay. Uh, which one of you is Gonzalez? Okay, Gonzalez. We're gonna need a Oh, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna strip Zealot of all of his weapons, and then use him as a human shield to lure out Gonzalez, and then Lolina can talk to him. Also, Klein and company appear right there. Okay. I'm gonna pull back, equip the Iron Sword, because I think they spawn in on this turn and they're immediately gonna start moving, so. Let's see. I'm gonna pull Roy back here. I wanna keep Roy close enough that he'll be able to talk to Klein, but not so close that they can attack him. That's a very fine line to walk. I. <laughs> that uh, that does sound like the best hack, to be honest. <laughs> I just hope everyone doesn't have Dorcas's growth rates because that would be terrible. Oh my gosh, you do have a Dorcas emote. Look, I'm I only hate Dorcas as a unit. As he's a good man, he's got a cool design. He's good in theory, but in practice, he always falls short. Okay, a lot gets the kill. All right, hey, skill and luck, no, not bad. All right, Ward, here's your sister. Ward, sis, it's good to see you. You've returned? Well, not really. Just came here on a mission. You're not going to come back anymore? No, that's not the case. But I'm not ready to return yet. Just wait. I'll come back with lots of money so we can live an easier life. I don't care about that. I just want you to be safe. Sis. 
I know it's pointless to tell you to be careful with that personality of yours. But just remember that there are people worried for you, okay? Here, take this. What's this? It's a special weapon. I treated the wounds of a traveler a while back, and he left it in return. You can use it, can't you? Thanks, sis! I'll be going. Be careful. Oh, hey, we get a sword reaver instead of the door key. That's a big improvement. Okay, get the steel axe out of here. That's a terrible weapon. Be strong and don't die. You know, Ward has gotten a couple of great level ups, but yeah, he's he's pretty lackluster. All right, how do we lure out? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. This is gonna be tough. Because again, I need to lure out. I need to lure out Gonzalez, but I ideally don't want to lure out a bunch of other brigands. Okay, I can't put it. Let's see. Okay. This might be a really stupid idea. I'm putting Thaney there. I know Tate ain't gonna spawn up there. Gotta get Lelina close. Uh, is there anybody with a kind of empty... Mm. Is there anybody who can carry free weapons? I think Lelina's gonna be my best bet. Here, Lelina! Take my sword. Take my javelin. I'll take your backup fire. There we go! Now I can use Zealot as a human shield, which is wonderful. Yay! Oh, no! Thaney, my... Thaney, you better get strength again. Thaney! Curse you! <laughs> Doggone it! I got that... That beautiful true blue miracle. Thaney leveled strength. You only see it once in, like, a blue moon. And yet, I had to reset, and then she didn't get it again. Okay, just to give you an idea, Thaney has gotten nine level-ups, she has only leveled strength once, and with a con of four wielding lances, that's really bad. The iron, the iron lance weighs eight, she has four con. If she wields an iron lance, she loses four points of speed. It's terrible. You call yourself a Pegasus Knight? Oh hey, we can talk to Gonzalez! Excuse me! W what are you? I'm an enemy! I'm sorry, but you had such a sad look in your eyes. There is village near mountain. You know? Yes, I know. Let the people escape. I take order. I destroy village. So... What? Don't! The people living in the village are innocent! No, I can't disobey order. Can't you leave the people who give you orders like that? Leave? I know. You should fight alongside us. We're protecting the villagers. No, I'm a monster. I can't be with other people. People throw stones. They say go away to me. Aw, this poor guy. <laughs> I'm a monster, not human. No, of course you're a human. You're also a kind-hearted human. I can tell. Come with us. Don't be afraid. Me afraid? I'm not afraid. Everyone afraid of me. I'm not afraid. No, you are afraid. You're scared that people will throw stones at you and they'll tell you to go away again. It's okay. The people in our army are nice people. They won't be mean to you. Come on, be brave. That out the t that out that first step to live positive. There are so many translation issues. <laughs> what was that even supposed to say? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's playable brigand! <laughs> Pinch me, I'm dreaming. This is, looks like something out of a randomizer, but I love it. Okay, step one. Give Gonzalez a better weapon. Also, we're turning back on battle animations so we can see Gonzalez in action. Aw, yeah. Okay, uh, hey, Ward. Dog on it, Ward. Okay, well, we gotta get Thaney out of it. We also gotta get Lelina out of there. Shoop! Oh, never mind. Don't worry, everybody. Lance to the rescue! Ugh! Nobody can hurt Lance! <laughs> Ironically, Lance is at his best when he's using a sword. 
My Lance is seriously amazing. Oh no, I just realized. Much like how Fanny didn't level strength again, I bet you Lelina will not be leveling up. Ah. Uh, speed. She finally got speed. She took it away. There we go. Alright, Ward. Alright, Lot. Lot, you can get... Dog on it. Lot, you don't have a... Here. Do a super duper trade of Rooney. Here's the super duper trade of Rooney. Alright. We'll take on this guy. I said we'll take on this guy. Dog on it, Lot, you little piece of butt. Oh my gosh! Gonzalez versus his old boss. This is gonna be good. Okay, uh, who will he attack, though? He'd be a fool to attack Lance. Okay, hang on. You can move... I don't like the fact that he can move on the mountains if he wants. I'm going to attack him... Okay, here. First off... Devil Axe is a scary weapon. This guy is... No! Freaking A! Ah! Okay, no, he'll, he'll survive. That's fine. I couldn't... Okay, I couldn't remember if he had a hand axe or not. Hopefully Skullin attacks Gonzalez. I want to see that duel play out. Okay. They spawn down here. They move up. Trek and Roy hang out there. Ah, uh, I forgot. After you trade, that's the end of your turn. I wasn't ready to go, though. <laughs> Break your sword. No, I'm not breaking. Well, I do need to get rid of this wall. Oh no, we'll use the steel blade, the best weapon. There, that's much better. But then we'll have him equip the steel sword to give him better evasion. Big brain. Yep, here comes Mr. Unfair Ambush Spawn. Oh, they don't have special dialogue? Oh my gosh. Seeing a brigand fight on my team just feels wrong. They gave... Who is Shanna? Oh yeah, it's Shanna Staney, that's right. I keep forgetting that they, they have two different names. Um, why is Klein not moving? Klein? What? Are you kidding me? Klein it doesn't move now? But he was willing to move to kill Roy. I freaking hate this game. It's so bad. You gotta at least be freaking consistent with your enemy movements. And they all have steel bows. You've gotta be freaking kidding me. Why did Kine not move? He's like, oh, I'm a... This is... This is literally like the most unfair thing I've ever seen. If you have somebody in Kine's range, then he'll shoot you down with the silver bow and kill you. But if you're not in his range, then he just sits on his butt and does nothing. Sure. That's fair. Alright, well, I can't have Roy stay here. Trek, you're pretty tanky, right? How tanky are you? Okay, that's actually more damage than I'm comfortable with. I don't want all of them attacking him at once. Okay, new plan. We recruit... We recruit Tate. We rescue Tate. Get her out of there. We let her stupid Pegasus Knight suicide. My gosh, this, this game real, really sucks cow patty sometimes. Oh, also, we need to make sure everybody's far out of range for when Tate comes, which is not next, not this turn, but next turn, I think. Alright, Gonzalez, finish your off your employer. 
Gonzalez, you were supposed to finish off your employer, not get hit in the face of a battle axe. What level is he? He's level 11. Well, dang, should we start using... Let's see. 12, 5, 9. 10, 8, 11. Well, I mean, Gonzalez has higher strength. Oh, does this mean Gonzalez becomes a berserker if he promotes? Because that's pretty awesome if that's the case. Oh, doggone it! No, Lot has to visit this stupid village! I forgot! <sighs> Alright, Ward. Can you hand axe him? No, you can't. Alright, then Lance the Pants gets the KO. At war. No, oh, we need to get Gonzalez out of there next turn. See a Skullin. Oh yeah, that was a good choice. He gave me boss level EXP to Lance, who desperate who definitely could benefit from that more. Alright, Lot, you go there next turn. Tate and company appear around here. So we need to get everybody far, far away. And make sure that uh, Thaney is in range. Oh, no! Not the reinforcements! Oh, and now he starts moving! What is this crap? If I give him Hero's Crest, then he becomes a Berserker. Nice. Then again, I already have free units who I'm using pretty seriously who need Hero's Crest. Deke, Rutger, and a lot all need them. And I only have one! Okay. No, just... just too far. Ah! This is not good. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six movement. Okay. You move there, Trek. Elwood, I mean Roy, you move here. Next turn, Roy should be able to do. Yes. Wait, Roy has seven movement in Project Ember? Does he does he start with a horse? Because if he doesn't, that don't make a whole lot of sense. Here, Zealot, chuck a... Do you want better Zealot? Chuck a Javelin from there. Break it open. Break it open. Well, if we do this, he's trapped, so... Oh, wait, crap. Tate's coming. I'm not worried about Rutger. I'm worried. <laughs> Actually, no, Tate... I don't remember exactly where she lies. No, she shouldn't She shouldn't be able to reach Rutger. But then again, when does that ever stop the game? Okay, Lot, visit this dumb village. Big brother, you're home! Mew, have you been good? Yes, I was good. I didn't even wet my bed. Good girl. Lot, while you were away, Mom... Yeah, I know. She went to a faraway place. Oh, this is so sad. Here, Mom left it for you. She said you'll find a use for it. Big brother, you won't leave me, right? You won't go to a faraway place without me like Mom. Of course not. I'll come back here with lots of presents for you. So, listen to what Mary says and be a good girl, alright? Okay. Anyway, hide in the hills of Mary. It's dangerous here. Yes, sir. Lot? You promised you won't go to a faraway place, right? Yeah. I hope I can keep that promise. Don't worry, Lot. You just became a- <gasps> Speed wins! Oh, those are going to a Valina immediately. Immediately. She desperately needs those. Okay, well, Lot just became number one on the list of characters who I cannot allow to die now. I can't let that little girl down. Her name was Moo. <laughs> okay, once again, I can't remember exactly where they spawn in. Don't want her to be so close. There. Fanny, if you're there, you should be able to reach.
you shun your next turn. Should. Should. Oh, come the freak on with these stupid ambush spawns! Whose idea was this? Huh? Well, it's a good thing I have Trek here, but I'm pretty sure Roy is dead. I freaking hate this level so much. Yep, yep, this is definitely, this is the level that made me rage quit on my first playthrough, because this level is completely and utterly unfair in every single way. Oh my god. Is this gonna be a, another level that I have to do off stream? Because we're out of time for tonight's stream. I don't want to do that again tonight. This is literally like, oh, did did you have to hide here to avoid this unfair ambush spawn? Don't worry, there's another unfair ambush spawn that will appear and move in the same turn. Also, there are five of them who all have weapon triangle advantage against you. This is... It gets worse? How? This is a level that has like 10 villages you need to visit and three characters to recruit that are all red units for no real reason, that have weird AI, and also you need to get these two specific units to these villages to get special prizes, and oh yeah, screw you, by the way. <laughs> not, not you, that's the game saying that to me. Well, that... That was a stream, huh, folks? That... I have no words. You know, you know, I have, I have no words. Only free. There's a, no, there are free characters. This is what I've seen on the level. There's Klein, there's Tate, and there's Gonzalez. Unless you can get Mary on your team. I guess that's true. I don't know for sure if there are more ambushes or characters. I don't know for sure. Ugh. Okay, I think I need a new... Huh. I'm trying to figure... I think Klein is honestly the most annoying part, because it seems like Klein will not start moving until either after his archers have moved or if you're in range of him, and that's really annoying. Like, I got lucky on my first attempt at that chapter where Roy dodged all that he needed and then could recruit Klein immediately, but... Uh, if he's not in range immediately, Klein just sits there, lets his archers get a head start, and then it ch they chase you right into the freaking cab spawns. <sighs> at least I at least I know how to deal with those the brigands now. The brigands are not too bad. All right, yeah, I think what's gonna happen. Hmm. Mm. Because see, here's the thing. Previously, when I had that chapter where Clarine died literally at the last possible turn, it was easy to just do that off stream. But because I don't know for sure how long this chapter goes on, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pin in it for tonight, and then on Wednesday, we're going to try this chapter again. I can take a bit of a break, calm down a bit, formulate some strategies, if there are any that are possible. And then once, once I'm done with that, then I think we're in a good spot. And I think we can then, on sh on Wednesday's stream, again, starting at 8 p.m. EST, I think we'll have a good shot, and then maybe we can finish it. Hopefully! If not, well... Well, you know, I rage quit before, but I'm not rage quitting now. I'm going through to the end. I don't care how long it takes. I'm going through to the end. I want to beat this game. And I will probably never play it again. Alright, thank you all for watching. This was... Well, an experience. I guess I can put it that way. <laughs> I won't forget this experience. Yes, it was memorable, to say the least. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless. Hope to see you for Wednesday's stream. Take care, everybody.